In the 17th century, the victory of the bourgeois revolution in England led to the passing of the Bill of Rights, establishing the principle of Parliament's supremacy over the monarchy. As a result, England became the first constitutional monarchy, opening up the age of mankind abolishing feudal monarchies and establishing constitutional monarchies. As the British constitutional monarchy was established, France, Germany, Italy, and Austria all followed suit. The bourgeois revolutions erupted, and one after another, feudal autocratic rule in these countries was overthrown. They set up their own constitutions and established their own constitutional monarchies. British industry and commerce flourished after a new shipping route was opened, driving the development of capitalism in the United Kingdom and creating a huge demand for resources. So while the UK was expanding its foreign trade, it also gradually broadened the scope of its colonial plundering and its expansion. Some countries and areas in Europe, Africa, Asia, North America, South America, Oceania, and Antarctica, as well as in the Pacific, the Atlantic, the Indian Ocean, the Antarctic Ocean, and the Arctic Ocean, became British colonies one after another. By the early 20th century, England had conquered one quarter of the Earth's territory and its people. During England's colonial expansion, advanced knowledge and thinking in areas such as Western political systems, culture, religions, education, and medicine were introduced into the colonies. The old ruling orders of the colonized countries were overturned, and the pre-existing feudal ideologies were destroyed. This laid the foundation for the colonies unknowingly embarking upon the path of constitutional democracy. This brought about a turning point in the state of the rigid, stagnant, closed societies within the colonies, infusing them with new life. This was an enduring contribution to the development of every aspect of life in the colonies. Missionary, save my brother! In the 1870s, through industrialization and the repeal of feudal autocratic systems in countries all over the world, England gradually lost its dominant position in global industry. After two world wars, its colonies gained independence one by one. England headed into decline completing its mission in history.